What's up? I'm Rick Cordero, 321 Films. You're watching channel APA.com. Shout out to Kevin and Steve. Keep it locked. I got into it uh, by accident, you know, like a lot of people. Um, my first project was actually a feature film, and uh, it was it was sort of my uh, my film school. And you know, I didn't I wasn't formally trained uh, to be a filmmaker or anything or, or a director. And um, you know, it was just uh, I just got into it by accident, and <laughs> and somehow I, I started. Uh, started getting a name in hip-hop videos. Uh, one of my earliest music videos was uh, Joel Ortiz. Uh, and that kind of slowly built up to guys like Jay-Z and Nas and Busta Rhymes. And um, pretty much that's how it started. It really started, like I think, um, you know, it started with a lot of underground artists and then when I, when I did the thing for Jay-Z, everybody started, you know, paying attention and they wanted that look. So, that's pretty much how I got into it. And, um, you know, and it's like anything, when you, when you start working with a certain level of artists, uh, it just kind of snowballs and you, get, you start getting more work. I only shot one video in green screen, and that was uh, Buster Rhymes, A Rap Money, and uh, you know it, it was uh, it was an experience. I, I think <laughs> it was it was definitely not the usual kind of video that I do, um, but I prefer shooting in real locations, and you know, and really having the objects there and having the locations there because it it's so much uh, it adds so much to the performance for the artist. Shooting in green screen or in the studio, indoors, obviously, you have a lot more control over like uh, the conditions and you know and, and lighting and whatnot. And um, but I think for me, I, I kind of like I like the idea of uh, sort of working against the sun, you know, and, and like having a time limit to certain things. You know, I think it adds a little bit of energy for the artist, where they have to. Um, we have to get a certain shot done, otherwise, you know, it's just not going to work. If you have a studio, um, the performances you tend to you, you tend to uh, try to overdo the performances, and it, it goes a little bit flat. So that's a big reason why I like to shoot outside in real locations. I think I would say. Uh, That success, you know, was really kind of built on finishing what you intended, you know, and that's pretty much it, you know. Like, if you have the intention of doing something, if you have an idea, just finish it. Because a lot of people have great ideas, a lot of filmmakers and directors want to do something, and sometimes the younger guys, they, they get so afraid of failure that they don't actually finish what they what they started and so it's important to do that to finish what you the idea that you have and um, and really just make yourself valuable to uh, as many people as you can in this industry um, it's not about money because you can't you can't let that be your your driving force to do this if it's about money then you should probably be doing something else but you have you can't be too good enough to do things for free and that's really how you build a name how you build your brand and then eventually, after you've paid your dues, like, you start getting work, you know, and you start, people want your brand, you know, and that's, that's really important for young, young upcoming directors, I think. Inside of Change was the last film that um, we made through uh, the production company 321 Films, which is, um, you know, it's, it's me, Steve Carles. Nancy Mitchell, <laughs> and uh, and basically we 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 made the film. Um, it's like an indie, you know, urban drama 
and it was a small film and it was something that was really personal for me because it was based on a friend of mine who passed away and his life and uh, it was just something that was really personal for me to make you know versus a commercial project where you know you're really trying to sell the film and you know and you're filling it with things that would sell it you know this was really just from the heart and I think uh, I think it was a really great experience, you know, um, super low budget, uh, a lot of, you know, the actors weren't paid much, you know, everybody was there for, for the love, and um, it ended up winning the uh, 2009 HBO New York International Latino Film Festival Award, it's a long title, but, uh, you know, it won Best Film Award, which is, um, it was up against a lot of films, a lot of great films, so, I think it's it's a testament to how far you really take, you know, renegade filmmaking. I think we're blurring the line as far as um, really this being seen as an art form that isn't dictated by the budget level, you know. Whereas before, you know, you still need a lot of money in order to, to do certain things. But I think if you're just trying to tell a story or a, a deeply personal story, it, you know, you just need people with a, a lot of heart. So my upcoming projects uh, are, uh, you know, we have a, a Wu-Tang video coming up, Our Dreams, Wu Massacre, which is uh, Ghostface, Raekwon, and Method Man. And it's, that was a real fun video to make, and, you know, we're launching that very soon. And uh, I'm actually, uh, I just came from my Sprite voiceover, so I'm going to be in a... Uh, the Sprite Fusion campaign, which is airing this summer, uh, a lot of a lot of you have seen the, the Drake spot in Sprite, and basically, I play uh, <laughs> I play a version of myself that's sort of a Hollywood version of myself, you know. And uh, I don't want to give away the ending, but it's it's really kind of cool and interesting and uh, a lot of fun. And uh, and I'm also working. I'm also actually produ uh, producing an electronic uh, dance album. Uh, called Deranged Fan. Uh, the title is Improvised Energy Device, and it's something that not a lot of not a lot of people know that I've sort of have been producing music for a while, and uh, so that's <laughs> that's something that we have coming out. It's a uh, it's basically we're also do we also shot five videos for it. So our angle for it is kind of like a web series slash music EP album, you know, uh, and it combines everything that I'm into, you know, filmmaking and music and I'm really kind of not limited to just doing the hip-hop urban thing, I'm kind of like letting it loose so there's a lot of sci-fi and, you know, and, and drama and, <laughs> and action, it's, it's pretty funny, it's, it's pretty interesting, like think like Play to the Concords meets electronic, like, weirdness <laughs> um, so you can check that out at derangefan.com you can check out all of our projects at 321media.com and be on the lookout for uh, the Rick Cordero Spike commercial it's called the Fusion Campaign and that's coming out in the summer shout out to uh, uh, Channel APA shout out to Kevin and Steve